Oh, I have a problem with this vacuum cleaner. The cable is at the very end, it is broken and so I need to fix that somehow. So I was looking on YouTube for some films about how to take this type of Dyson Cinetic Big Ball Absolute 2 apart. Unfortunately, there is not one film about it. So I thought um, I'm gonna film my own adventure and probably upload that to YouTube so that others can, well, have, have a better situation than I do. So uh, first um, I take it apart. There is some film on YouTube how you take this one totally apart and how you clean it. So I put that aside. Then... Let's see, this one has a little nozzle here on the top. There's actually a thing you can easily push in with your fingers to get this away, as I see now. Yep, still recording. Good. Then, where are the filters? Um, maybe something is under the wheels. The wheels are quite easy, they just have some um, standard screws here, as it looks like. So, I think this is going to be my next move to remove them. At least the screws. Quite a long one. And, we, and then it is easy detached. Looks from the inside like this. There is a little slit here. And more screws. Well, anyway, this is the on-off button, and I'm looking to go for the cable on this side. So, let's take this one away as well. I just thought about it that I'm going to Grab a pen uh, and write down which wheel was on which side, just to make sure that they run afterwards smoothly again. I take the same uh, kind of description as you would do for a car. So this is the front where the hose belongs to, that would drive in this direction. So this is the right side wheel. So let's put an R inside. Now yeah, looks quite identical. I don't have an instruction manual, so I don't know where the filters are. I have another Dyson, and this has some filters that you can <coughs> take out and clean. But this one doesn't. Anyway, so I hope it moves a little bit less as I have removed the wheels, as it is flat on the ground. So, I try to reach the cable. Hmm. You can see that you have a s you 
It's about the, the half of it. This looks like the top side, this looks the bottom side. There is some, some line that you can see on the, in the plastic. And you can see we have, oh, we have Torx screws here. Um, so this is the ones with this, uh, take a big one here with this nice pattern. Hope you can see it. We call them Torx. This one is one, this one is one, two, here, here, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Probably I will have to do the same on this side. There are some more screws to lift it up in the end. But we will see. Let's find out. My screw, oh, oh, my screwdriver is gonna make it. <sighs> Otherwise, if my screwdriver doesn't fit, this is a potential showstopper. Smaller one. And yeah, exactly the same. Okay. Can I already take it away? Completely. Oh. You can see it is below here. It is almost come up. stuck here. I mean, I, I could put more force on it, but um, well, I want to fix it, right? So let's see if I... This one is a really pretty difficult oh, lucky strike. I can get it, although I have this large screwdriver, just with this bit. Oh. Aha! Okay, I already moved it out on top of here, and now it comes in my way below here, here too, to reach the screw in that hole. So don't move it until you have. Get this screw out of here, and. Well, let's keep going. So, here we go. The screws are all exactly the same so far. That's nice that they keep the same screws. Everybody knows what a pain it is to find out which screws or which screw was in my error. So I took this and this away. Now, You can see here the, the, the half, the, the cut, and I have some more screws here. So I'm going to remove these as well. But I'm kind of lazy. Okay, I'm going to use an electric screwdriver. Um, in case you have one too, on top of here, you have um, 
how much force it will take until it stops um, turning your screw. So I go to a really little one below five. Oh, it goes up to 15 um, in order not to destroy anything. Oh, this one is, um, I'll show you, hold on. So the screws here are longer. Look like this. And um, yeah. Good to know for later on. Then as I'm so working my way around so, so the, the line goes around here. Oh, I see there are some more screws below here as well. Um, so anyway, I take now care of these two as well. They are also long, similar, the same as the other. So, I think I will continue with the one below here. This one is a shorter one, again, same size as all the others. Oh, come on. Voila. Good. Oh, looks so far so good. Cannot see any more screw from the bottom side. So let's continue on the right side. Lock. Still all the same size. Oh, here I cannot reach it. Uh oh. Let's try a little trick here. Put it first onto the screw. Well, you try to, so that it would not go fully in, so that it doesn't go fully inside, you could like put some paper or anything below here. Um, just try the force, as I do now. My plus minus works. In case it wouldn't work, or in case you don't have a Torx screwdriver, or a Torx, Torx bit, if you take a small screwdriver, you can, like a number one or number two, it probably would fit in between the, uh, the spaces, and then you could do it with a normal screwdriver as well. This is just not as convenient, obviously. So. Good thing when you film it, Try to keep some all. Try to keep things in order. And then you just go ahead by yourself. I try not to lift it, and it does already move over here, as you can see it. 
moves all around. Huh? It doesn't move here right now. Well, it is not tight anymore, but it doesn't move. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> there is this. There is this. Um, there is this plastic which is see-through. And I guess this one is blocking it. Let me try to figure that out. It reminds me of the one we removed before, where we somewhere had this little nose. So, I find it out. You can just lift this, pretty easy. And be careful, there is a power switch, and usually power switch comes with cables, right? So, and here we are, okay, it looks like I have to find out how to um, remove the cables on the power switch, and just like on the other side we have two screws here. I'm going to remove this one. And while I'm learning on the job, you already know that because you have seen the movie. Interesting. I hope you can see it. I open that carefully. And the switch is not here. This is just the oops. This is just the lever which comes with a spring. And the switch itself is in this part. Now the cable comes up here, goes around that bowl and is then attached to the switch. Very nice. So I can remove the cable from that bowl. Oh, they are quite stiff. And just unplug it. Or, no, I have to unplug it because there is a in the way to remove the whole button. Now they are qu quite tight, I get it. With the plier. Because if you just take the cable to, to tie on, you 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 are you, you risk that you get the cable out of the, the plug itself. Now they come just off. Move a little bit left and right, and you got it. So here we go. The power button. The screws are shit. Is, uh, here is another screw, and here is the, the spring that comes on that little nose here, and on the other side there is actually nothing but a 
just a flat surface. So, all right. So I removed the cable through that hole. Now I see I didn't even have to remove the screws over here because all it does for the cable it goes actually down here. Let's see right. Still recording already 20 minutes. Wow. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Some some dirt here and the how do you call that? The fitting, the, the rubber, the rubber seal is I don't know if it was sticky and take away the dust here. Or if it was glued. But anyway, it is now a little bit in the in the air channel, so to say. And this could reduce the power, of course, when something is in the end of it. So, and because I finally found out that uh, I will not have removed that one, I, I put in the screws again. So not to have to fiddle with another part. Take my screwdriver. Tighten the screws first a little bit by hand. Now remember to keep it on a low on a low level. Clockwise to tighten. You can hear the noise when it reaches the ground. This is and test by hand. Perfect. So I prepared this. So, there is a seal, obviously a large filter, so, okay. Just in case uh, we need that information later on. There are no screws around here. There is a little nose. I'll try to lift it. Oh, I see. Here is, um, here, here you can release the, the filter. You have two two buttons. Yeah. Here you see the two buttons where I have my fingers. And there is a third one on that side where my dump is moving. And another one over here. And another one over here, as I just see right now. So. Uh, 
I guess below is the engine. Won't come off easily at least. <sighs> Looks like it is moving back in the middle. As you can see. And I wonder. to remove anything here. Ah, oh, okay. So you see, uh oh, here is a spring. Um, I lift up the filter. The filter has a little nose over here. The nose belongs over here to the where it sucks in the air. Uh, it looks quite dusty on this side. And the thing that fell apart here is. That button that I had to press before, there is the nose where the spring belongs, and you have a little hole here where you put the spring inside and the button. Well, if I forget to apply that when we put it together again, then um, yeah, it will add some additional work. So here we have the engine. The cable that run through here, go over here, go to the engine. Let's find out. By the way, um, all of them were by now, they have like three different screws. The wheel has another one. Most of them are like this. And then I had the long ones in the middle here. So far, um, for an English product, um, quite, quite nice. I guess that is in his English. Oh, okay, you got it here in the video. It's kind of easy, you cannot make uh, anything wrong because you have the special situation here with this screw to put in here. Now, oh, something maybe to clean before you put it together, right? The engine doesn't like the dust too much. Okay, now this looks like some anti-vibration modules. I don't know if you can see it, they have some... They're made of rubber, soft rubber. And like this. And then you slide them in on this side. All three of them are the same. Cable still here. Mm. 
So, if somebody calls you on the phone, I forgot to go on flight mode while filming. This would be probably a good idea. Well, for the next time then. Anyway, um, I think we stopped somewhere here. I was about to remove the, the engine. Um, not that I want to. <laughs> so this looks like this. Put it back again. Find out if I get some orientation. Ah, some orientation. Well, one orientation is the cable here, of course. Um, but then, then we have this. Yeah, this may be just for cables. But then we have this little U-shaped part here, and this one there is on the other side. You have this U-shaped tool. Let me try to show it to you. Ah, can you see there where the cable goes down? This is where this U-shape thing belongs, okay? Yeah, this is what it looks like. So, that's it. So this power cable here So one of the power cable comes from the switch and one comes from the cable that's where I want to go to, as it looks like. And if I want to remove the engine to get it out of my way, I have to unplug it. Um, the cable shouldn't matter too much, but anyway, I will try to do it the same as it was. So I remove the cable from well, I saw it just on the second before how it was. Uh, Pin over here. And now, same as before, be careful by removing the, the blocks. There's not a lot of space here. There's actually no space. Ah, here we go. Number one. And number two. So I pushed from the top on the on the plug and towed a little bit on the on the bottom of it to move it away. Here we go. Oh, it doesn't move that easy. Quite some weight. Oh, you can even see the the rotor inside. You see it's been now as I turn on the Fan. You can see the carbons. Looks still okay so far. 
If you look from the left side and from the right side, you can see both carbons. Looks good so far. Put that aside as well. Somehow. Just wonder what side is the best. I guess the bottom is the best because there's some rubber feet. So, now, as I have removed everything, looks like this. Let's put this cable back in here. So the cable were like this before, and here it goes down. Here's the one I want, still. And now I see here's one, two, another two screws below here. So you have to get rid of the engine. Same size of screws. My fingers got quite a bit dirty. Well, it's just dust, I guess. Alright. Uh huh. Now it moves easy. That <laughs> the cable goes all around that body. Wow. <laughs> all right. To you see the power. You can see here the the how do I call that sliders. Like the carbon on the engine to to get the power, the electricity of the cable or from the cable, and to keep that as a moving part. I cannot move it right now. Well, oh yes, I can. <laughs> you see? Oh. Did you see how how it moves? So I, I push here on the lever on, on, on this side. Wow. I didn't expect that based on all the videos I have seen from the from the other Dyson devices. Here is the um, spring in the shape. Here is the electricity attached. Wow! Alright. So now my problem is at the very end of the cable. I will show you that now. I have to remove the cable from this. Yeah. I'll be back. <sighs> so, I have now removed all the cable from the wheel. You see it is empty. And um, by the way, the energy sliders and you have two, two on this side and two on this I side. I mean, the most difficult part is this, um, this spring over here, which does wheel up. You never want this to fall apart, never ever. Everything else can fall apart, but not that one. And I think this is going to stay as long as you're not removing the, the, in, in the screws on the very inner side. You can probably remove this one as well to, to get the cable here in the proper place. So let me remove these two screws first. 
and see what it looks like when I remove the... No, let me remove the cable first. So, see what it looks like. Aha! Uh -huh. These two cables I just wanted to remove are actually coming from the engine. Go through here on the inside and then reach that part here. So the cable I'm looking for must be on the back side. So I remove the screws first. Same size again. Okay. So in the meantime, I have like... Something like 26 to 30 screws removed. I go with this a little bit on the outside so that I do not Destroy the sliders. And this is what it looks like. That said, my cable is attached to the to the sliding rings. And then the slider will grab the energy off from the sliding rings and bring it to the engine. So, I have to remove... I have to remove it. Oh gosh. And I see here some mechanics. And I don't know what it is. Oh! Now I see it, it moves like this. I don't know what it is for. But, well, let's mark, I have a pen here, so let's mark the Let's just mark them where they were and how they were, so that they will fit the same in different places, right? So now put on each end of them. I, I put a little. Um, Line on it with the pencil. The and these screws are now different. These are smaller. They are so small that I do not even have to write bit. They are below one. They're yeah, 10, sorry, it's a 10, Torx 10. This one is the 10, and these are smaller. So, we have to cheat. Let's see what we've got. 
Okay, number one flathead is too big. Here we go, this one works. Um, I found a flathead like this. And this one works. As I mentioned before, it's not the way to do it, but... Unfortunately... It's going to be fun to put it together again with this screwdriver because they are already small. And unfortunately, the, the joint here I have to remove this screw as well. It's not a separate joint. sliders. Sorry, I don't know all the technical um, word by name, so I describe it for you. That's why I call it a slider. Okay, when you release here the, the cable a little bit, you can move this more up. And just because I put some lines here, uh, no, I, I will mark the ring as well. Where to? Here is um, an arrow, but anyway, I will put two. Draw two lines here, so that I know how to put it back again. By the way, if you touch these, there is some grease on it. Get it more dirty. So, oh, here it goes. Here comes the. Here comes the power. Hope you can see it. Because it's a little bit difficult for me to lift it on. Okay. Like this. Okay. So below the ring you can see the electric connection. Now what I have to do is you see here that little worm of cable, right? Um, and I have to remove all this stuff and I can probably, if I find some, some plugs like this, I can remove this part of the cable until I reach the broken part and do exactly the same way back and attach it to here. So no waste of, no unnecessary waste to generate here by removing the whole cable. Um, yeah, so let's try to 
Disconnect that ring first. This is quite easy. So that you get an idea how, how large these blocks are you probably need. So this is a screwdriver number three. And yeah, see it fits almost perfectly. So, so this is the slider. Yeah. Well, well. Now I remove the cable here carefully. I hope I filled that well so that I can return it in exactly the same way. And slide it out. Can you see what I'm doing here? Here we go. Here it is. And here is the broken stuff. These are the two. For two blocks. So I open the cable where it was broken. Ooh. <laughs> Just as I expected, we have some some carbon situation here. It really it really burned while having while di while dying, so to say. That's an easy fix. Yeah, just cut away two or three millimeters. And we have nice copper again. All right, now the, the marker that the cable ends, actually they put two markers, you have one is the, the yellow over here, and then you have the red over here. I will have to move because obviously um, the cable length I will need is this much. So... Yeah, like 20 to 30 centimeters. No, hold on, do I make the connection correct? I need this one, and I need to, yes. Yeah, and then put everything back together. Um, so watch then the video um, backwards. Good luck.